Well, as you just heard, no one has been charged in the tragedy, but it's still a possibility. Personal injury attorney Miguel Custodio joins us now to talk about the potential legal ramifications. Miguel, good morning to you. Let's talk about responsibility. Alec Baldwin admits firing the gun, says he did not know it was loaded with live rounds and clearly did not. Could he still face charges? Good morning. Yes, he still can uh, maybe involve involuntary manslaughter. Um, but there, it's highly unlikely that it would uh, occur. So, you know, Baldwin is not just an actor in this film. He's also the producer for Rust. So are there any legal repercussions that he could face for his role as producer and maybe not so much as just an actor? Sure, and that's where it's more likely. He, as a producer, he is definitely... Uh, on the hook uh, since he is at the top of the ladder in terms of uh, everything that goes on in this production and that is where uh, I think the focus is going to be uh, with regards to any potential lawsuits although he can still be uh, sued as an actor uh, I think the focus will be on him as a producer hmm. now she asked about criminally yes yeah, civilly is, is where I'm interested is that most likely the outcome of this case in terms of Alec Baldwin as a producer is concerned sure yeah that's that's where it's really gonna uh, uh, go down to and not only him but there's a potential liability for the head armor and the assistant director as well as any other producers on the film so um that's what I was going to ask. So uh, aside from those two, are, is there anyone else that may have, you know, maybe known about the chain of command as far as making sure that this piece of equipment, this prop, was safe? Sure. Definitely the head armor who's in charge of handling all guns and weapons on the set uh, will definitely face a lot of scrutiny. I definitely see a lawsuit, uh, including her. And there's also... Um, questions as uh, to her experience as this was only the second time that she had, uh, was a head armor on a set. So that calls into question not only her ability, but also the production's decision to hire her as the head armor. And by production, I mean, uh, including Alec Baldwin, who was a producer on this movie. And that head armor, according to reports, was nervous about her own lack of experience again according to reports but it's this david hall's figure the assistant director that sounds like he could face the most scrutiny for bypassing the actual protocols that they were supposed to be following it appears he is the one that handed the gun to baldwin when it was supposed to be the armorer what types of changes do you expect across the industry though i definitely see some far ranging uh changes in the industry uh, i Regardless of what the budget of film is, uh, I see a lot of um, safety protocols being put into place as of right now. The safety protocols are just guidelines and it can vary from set to set, but I definitely see some hard laws being put into place to prevent a needless tra tragedy such as this one. Very interesting. All right. Personal injury attorney Miguel Custodio, thank you so much for your time thank today. You.